The show you are about to listen to is intended for mature audience only. There will be things said that may not be appropriate for younger audience and may offend you. We at Whatever Talk would like to apologize in advance. But really, get over it. What up, though, folks? Welcome to Whatever Talk, the show where we talk about whatever we seem to be talking about at the time you hit the play button. I'm your host, Donnie. I do got a host. I mean, a guest host. My brother, Scooter, now known as Big Steve. (laughs) (laughs) How you doing, man? Good, bro. (laughs) Big Scooter. (laughs) I just thought of, I just remember that today. Your mom used to call you that. I used to hear it from your mom and grandma. No, oh, that's funny, <laughs> man. That's funny, man. I've been hearing all these different names. It's funny because you just don't be knowing, man. Years be going by so fast, man. I'll be finding out something new every day. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. You, you don't remember Scooter? No, man. I was talking to my other cousin, too, right? And he ain't know about his little name. So I could, I'm sitting here like, man, everybody got some names, though. <laughs> All right. I, I could be wrong. What what was your, you, did you remember anything your mom used to call you? Uh, For so Stevie. Stevie, yeah. I'm, yeah, I, I know Stevie. So, uh. Sco- Scooter is funnier than Stevie. Scooter. <laughs> I could see Scooter, though, because I used to always be in the sum. But, again, man, it's good to talk to you, man. We ain't talked in years year. we ain't yeah. even seen each other in years yeah it's crazy just doing what the globe is doing talking connecting through facebook and social media and all that stuff yeah, man. yeah. right yeah right. i gotta put it on you for sure man because um it's only right oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah man i, I appreciate you doing this right here I, I had to get you man we had to reschedule this month three times because you becoming big now nah? Man, I'm working, 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 man. I'm getting used to it too. Like, damn, I'm uh, working, making music, and a father. Woo wee. Yeah, big about to be on the big stage. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bound right back with the bonfire coming up July 13th. About to rock that stage. You know what I'm saying? Awesome, awesome, man. That's dope. That's dope. It's a crazy long music video this weekend, Friday and Saturday shooting. Hours and hours of footage, man. So yeah, that's gonna turn out great. That's coming out probably around the same time as the performance. So I'm gonna do a nice performance, and then right after the performance, I'm gonna drop an exclusive video for everybody to see. You know what I mean? I'm going back to back. I'm going crazy, and I got another one ready for everybody after money too. You know what I mean? Oh, sweet man! <laughs> I, got, I got one ready. It's in a pot mix. Awesome, awesome, man. I heard some of your stuff, man. Cool, man. Dope stuff, man. I appreciate, Dope stuff. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Mm-hmm. We had our our nephew on uh, a couple of times. He's been on like two or three times. Oh, yeah, Mikey. Yeah, 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 he keeps the energy. His energy is uh, unmatched. <laughs> I'm digging him, man. He's he one of my, one of my, uh, one of the new cats. I don't really care about new cats nowadays, especially the new younger ones. I don't know. About, yeah, yeah. Like, they are. You know, most of them, yeah, they he got a different style, man, that you're not normally going to hear. You know what I'm saying? That's what makes him stand out, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. That's what I, I do the same thing as much as possible, but his is, is something different. He's on another level. With yeah, it. yeah. I, I, that's what I told him, man. Like, I told him, I, I'm glad that you're not trying to be like everybody else, man. He's just himself. Yeah. He just himself. Yeah, you know he's yeah. himself. He just... And when he hit the when he hit the stage, man, it's a uh, he's some he's somebody different. He's not our nephew no more. <laughs> I, I, exactly. When I first seen him doing this stuff, I'm like, whoa, wait a minute, wait a minute. I don't I remember this. Like, Who is this. I ain't never where he hit the headliner. And I, big shout out to Qzar, man, Quasar. I mean, y'all, right, they they had me there. They let me uh open up for them. Mm. Oh yeah, yep, yep. I seen that one. Yep. I seen the clips of that one too. Yeah. Quasar, man. They got some 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 fire too, though. I ain't gonna lie, man. They got yeah, yeah. Fire. That show was fun. Wow. Uh, I did the I did the music. I did the music. That's that's dopeness. So let's get to the show, man. We talking about whatever, whatever that's on your mind. Speak your mind. Don't be shy. This is your time to shine. I be thinking about some crazy things, man, or at least. People think it's crazy because they're too afraid to talk about they thought about it too. <laughs> right, okay, right, 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 right. <laughs> See where you're going. Absolutely, man. I'm just a person <laughs> that just don't mind sharing their thoughts because how else are we better to gain understanding of not just the globe, but right, just right. people who traverse the globe, you right. know? So 
that's I, I think that's one of the uh, that's one of the things that I come to realize that I uh, I would like to do for whatever talk like to to innovate conversation yeah. meaning have them and I want progressive conversation meaning that if you listen to any of my shows like I may mention some current events and all that stuff which is rare on here and if I do mention current events it don't really be about what anybody else is talking about like I would right. be picking out other stuff that other people be overlooking but I think oh, yeah, they yeah. choose to overlook it yeah I, I feel like that too about some stuff I think about I'll be like I think way outside the box I wonder if anybody else thought that sometimes you do keep it to yourself Sometimes you do be speaking on it, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. I, like, I understand what you're saying, hundred percent. Yeah, absolutely. So this is the safe haven for conversation. There's no need to keep it to yourself. Hey, if you like kissing on inanimate, inanimated objects, <laughs> let's talk about it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, there's somebody out there that love <laughs> something animated. <laughs> exactly. I'm saying, more and more stores, man. It's funny that you say that because I went to the mall, man. I just keep seeing more and more animated stores. Like animation is like, taking over in a way. But I'm a big Dragon Ball Z fan, though. I always want you to come paint my wall, bro. When I was a kid, bro, you used to always draw the coldest Dragon Ball Z characters. I'm like, I want Dragon Ball Z on the wall. I'm like, oh, <laughs> man. The big... I remember asking you that, bro. I remember. Yeah, I do. I do. I do, man. But, man, I... I barely sketch, man. I haven't drew anything in since my little man been. I want to say since before my little man been born, but probably since he been born, he's seventeen now. Man. So I ain't drew in forever. I I don't feel it no more. I don't be feeling like it no more. You Michael and Kevin dog, like man, they drawing books cold. Then I saw you. I'm like. I was trying to sketch a little S, you know, the little regular S. Don't <laughs> <laughs> be little letters or something. Make that letter look 3D or something. That was it. <laughs> the six line S. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> the, that was, the that was my go-to. Three, three, go three at yeah. the bottom. <laughs> yeah, connect the lines. That was my go-to, bro. <laughs> that's, how you, that's how you perp like you know how to draw. <laughs> uh-huh. Yep, real quick. That's my, my little 3D look for you. There you go. That was it. All right, so I want to talk about this uh this new club experience I had. I went to this new club to do one on poetry, open mic. I ain't know what it was about. I don't think it's my my spiel, <laughs> but I will go there again. And before I continue with this, let me just, I will say that this was probably the best experience experience of it mm. of uh, all the places I've been. Or at least up there. I only been to like three, four different places. This one was probably one of the best as far as performer wise, performance wise. Not me performing, but other people performing wise. Okay. Detroit Got Talent. I think that's what it's called. It's a real, okay. real small, real small. But went there. Say so the door opened up at eight. Got there at eight. It was just me. I was rolling solo this time. Paid my 20 to get in. Nobody was there but the club, the venue personnel. Wow. <laughs> so I'm just chilling, waiting, you know, doing whatever, practicing in my head. And, you know, it just until the time I said, come up. The door person asked the DJ when we going to start, you know, start the stuff. Granted, again, nobody was there. But she's asking when we <laughs> want you to just do your form to yourself like you at home practicing. <laughs> so, so he was like, we're going to do it like around nine. You know, get somebody time to get here, get people time to get here. Ten come around. <laughs> Nobody's still there. The door um, person, the hostess, and the DJ they do their own things as well. So they started doing their thing. After they do their thing, you know, they asked me, you know, hey, you go up there and do your thing if you want to. So I'm like, sure, I don't mind. I'm poetry. I'm way off of what other what the other ones that just got finished doing. <laughs> they would they got instrumentals and all this stuff. Like these are like 
professional cats kind of kind of oh, sort of. They got the, the, the music in the background and all that going. On. Yeah, they they got recordings going on. They you know they lip syncing some of their they, their their stuff and all that stuff. You know and all that stuff. So uh, you know it, it's cool. That's why I said it, it was dope because these cats were like for real performing, like coming off the stage doing this i mean they were actually like doing it like they were putting on the show i dug that um my place that i go to is around the corner from um where you where you grew up from uh on, on mm -hmm. um oakman uh the place called nadine's that sounds familiar too man yeah. there's so many little these spots yeah but it's, it's right it's like right around the corner from you know where the host is on uh, building Used used to be, yeah, yeah, yeah. go up the street to Finko, hit the left, and then when you get to the light, hit another left. It's down in that in that area. Oh, really? in, that's where I first, yeah, that's where I first did open mic, at, and that's where I I usually go, and it's dope. It be it be people in there all the time. That's where we grew up, boy. Hey. Uh huh. Uh huh. That's where uh -huh. we grew up. All that bread, waking up in the whole neighborhood, smell like hostess bread. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I go I when I'm over at Nadine's, it's always somebody there at open mic. Like it's cool. Only thing I don't like about Nadine's is that I've been doing this for maybe two and a half, three years. So I'm 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 still working on my delivery and all this stuff and all this. But you good though. Uh I appreciate that. What I don't like is the performers. Not they they they're dope. They some sweet people. They some sweet cats doing their thing. They just that every time I go in that mud, they're doing the exact same thing. Like I, I'm not going in there consistently like I would like to hope to do, but every time I do go in there, I haven't heard anything different from the people. Who be coming up there doing their thing? And I'm like, Vegas, what the heard heck, heard man? Heard it. <laughs> it's, it's not like you're making a song. You hear that song when you come perform, you know, like, yeah, play money or play. Yeah, the exactly. There's a different choice of words and another way of uh, delivering this to me because I can read this with you at this point. <laughs> Exactly, and, and I'm mad as heck that you got me memorizing this job. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fact. That's like when a person go battle rap and they all keep yelling that one bar. <laughs> Everybody knows, and the whole line. audience know it too. Everybody knows it's punchline. <laughs> they yelling their punchline. <laughs> they gonna be like, I said, like damn, somebody remember my shit? Yes, I remember this. Yes, you did this two weeks ago. <laughs> How you hear this three? This makes three. I remember everything. Yeah. Lives. <laughs> and a month ago, a month ago was where you ain't got no new material at all. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> going back to the uh the new club, they like like I said, dope. The entertainers are dope there. Like they were really doing their thing. Right, right. Remember, it's empty. Nobody up in that mud. I didn't leave that much to like a little after 12 or sometime after 12. <laughs> Nobody was still in that mug. Nobody showed up. Nobody showed up that day. I thought they gave you money, man. I thought they gave you money. No, I didn't bother to even ask for a bad because like I said, it was one of the dopest experiments I had. So, and what it seems like, this joint is like, <laughs> it's like the beginning of an underground joint. It's so uh, underground that nobody knows about this junk. <laughs> you need a shovel to find that joint. My exactly, man. The whole punchline to all this. They was featuring somebody that day. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, I, you know, you know, we all did a, a few things up there. You know, basically, we was just like practicing, like sound sound testing practice. Yeah, all this, that's, that's what, what it seemed say, like. like yeah, 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 like. <laughs> For sure, sound test check one, two, three. <laughs> That's what it sounded like up in there. So the feature didn't want to come out. So I heard, like, I guess who was ever his manager or whatever, <laughs> he come out the bat like, "Oh, what? What you mean? 
He, he said he don't want to come out. What you mean he don't want to come out? <laughs> uh, oh, I guess I guess he don't want to get paid. I guess he don't want to get paid then since he don't want to come out. Everybody got paid, right? Everybody got paid to here tonight, right? <laughs> I guess he don't want to get paid. And in the back of my head, I'm like, all y'all niggas is splitting this 20 of mine? <laughs> <laughs> get paid off what? <laughs> <laughs> Who is paying what and who? I can imagine you in there with the, you just looking left, right, left, right on the swivel, like with the funniest face. I can't even imagine. Like, <laughs> Man, I am cracking up in my head because this nigga is serious. Mm-hmm. I guess he don't want to get paid then. He don't want to get paid. We all got paid in here today, right? You got paid. You got paid, right? I was like, this nigga, <laughs> what nobody he- here. He was more frustrated. Nobody was there. So. <laughs> He just took it out of who was there. <laughs> but wait, there's more. What? It got to the point to that this guy started passing out mushroom chocolate because Mush- I guess he hit. He did, he got everybody in like a strip of mushroom chocolate bar, a piece of the mushroom chocolate bar. It didn't come to find. I guess this joint is kind of like a a hangout spot slash a venue. For these cats, at least that's what it seems seems like, because the mushrooms kind of uh, put them down, I guess. But the performer, the feature went up there and performed. I didn't care about it at all, not <laughs> not one bit. The other cats, the 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 door chick, the host chick, and the DJ oh. guy dug all of their stuff. They were dope. This feature. Who they had? I forget his name, but yeah, I didn't care about him. But again, <laughs> yeah, I ain't care about. There's more. What? When he got done performing, like I want to say, like somewhere between three to five uh, tracks, my man's who was talking about. I guess he don't want to get paid. He rushed to the door, front of the door, open it up. You know, basically, you know, out there, you know, making sure, looking out, looking out, seeing, you know, you know, basically playing security at this point. <laughs> is about, to, about to shut down. This cat goes say, after party, anybody need a ride? You can all hug it. It's me. <laughs> It's only you. He he was delusional. Was, he was delusional as hell, dog. Like, look, like, he he wanted somebody. He wanted somebody to talk to him so bad. He <laughs> to like something, dog. It's just me and this mug. Why you keep saying anybody? Does anybody? Hey, do you want to ride? It should be you instead of any. <laughs> so, so I wish I was there with you, bro. So I could laugh. Bro. Just, ain't no way. <laughs> ain't no way, bro. I ain't no I way. Dip, I dip, I dipped out after that. It was all over. He, was all over. he had to, he done had to split the twenty eight months four five. Right. You know what I'm saying? It was the DJ, the the hostess, about four other cats in the back. Two came that was part of their uh crew, and the, the door person was part of their crew too. But I'm not sure on her. But still, it was enough. For you to be comical about the things that you're saying right now, <laughs> but uh, yeah, man, that junk was hilarious to me. I did. I was like, I, I can't wait to tell this story on the show because oh, that's funny, dog. This guy was <laughs> it. It was it was extremely ride. funny. Oh, that's, anybody want to ride? <laughs> <laughs> Probably had to pay all the out of pocket. He was sick, dog. He needed a drink and a mushroom. <laughs> Also, who gonna be at this after party, man? All right, why would I even come? I didn't even think about that. Why would I even go? I don't even trust you. This point, he about to take you off for a ride. Exactly. Like I'm afraid to even be here right now. I think I'm probably being set up because. <laughs> 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 these cats, these cats ride about to get the whole ride shit. Exactly. I'm about to get got when I go to the uh, car and all this just because these cats want to play like they're a club. <laughs> you got some more twenties? <laughs> oh man. But but again, like I said, with the experience of checking out these cats who perform, 
that was that made it so dope to me. That that's what made it dope to me. Yeah, it was still some some different. You know, yeah, yeah. So I will go again, but I'm not gonna. I'm gonna wait for the time to hit like nine, <laughs> maybe nine thirty to see. Is there anybody up in there first? Yeah, you get there late. <laughs> yeah, you get there late. But so doors open at nine, you're gonna go at ten thirty. <laughs> exactly, exactly. And then the, the host the host chick, she gonna say, I told people ten. I'm like, why would you know you can't be telling black people ten? I mean they come out they, of the <laughs> Exactly. And the doors open up the doors open up at eight and you start at nine. So why are you telling people ten? <laughs> Yeah, I know black people time is not it's always an hour an hour and a half later. It's like exactly. if I throw an event, bro, I and it really do work that if I throw an event and I say, All right, I'm about to get this venue, they say the party from eight to nine. I'ma tell people the party started seven off bell. Yep. Y'all gonna the park a lot with me by the way. <laughs> so we can crack on time. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You are walking in together. We mm-hmm. all in the park a lot. <laughs> Get the DJ speaker. He gonna need some help. What up, no? I made it. I made it. <laughs> he said he made it. He made it. <laughs> I'm so sick because I, I I gotta give I gotta give my credit out the crib so I can be smoking too. <laughs> the key I know as soon as I hit so I might just have to run this house and grab the sack and run. No, I can do that while I'm on. Here. That's about to happen. Uh, go going through the back. <laughs> uh huh. I'm gonna go through the side though, run and grab the book bag, and run back outside. Watch this. I'm taking like Superman, like I jump in the Oh man! But let's keep the show moving. So, man, I've been thinking about this lately. With all this technology that we have now, let's just focus on the security cameras. All this technology that we have nowadays, right, we right. got freaking. PlayStation 5s that's playing video games with the graphics that look like how me and you looking at each other right now. Remember when we started playing the game? How we used to think yeah. the rest of PlayStation was fine? Then remember <laughs> box football player? <laughs> the football was a box. The helmet was a box. <laughs> the football was, was a box. And we tackled each other. <laughs> yeah. well, we got... A- all this technology, those systems, our video game consoles, our TVs, which is all time high right now. But speaking of that, for some reason, we got freaking 4K TV. We got 8K TVs now. now and for up. some re- for some reason, we can't figure out an HD security camera. <laughs> what the heck is going on? With all this uh technology, and yet <laughs> for some reason we got these video security cameras that show up like 16 bit Nintendo, and here we are talking about and believing all this evidence on stuff that we have. <laughs> right, <laughs> like, right, right, right. Yeah, think about that. You are right about that. Bro. That makes a whole lot of <laughs> that's that's crazy because you do look at first four yeah they can never see the face they got to do zoom 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 and fix something like why is everything extra crispy with the camera the most important thing we need are security cameras you can't see who was not gonna jump though <laughs> absolutely absolutely but yet we still believe in that we've seen the Loch Ness monster on camera be- with this footage yet we still believe in that this guy who shot this other guy gets off on the court because the camera showed him doing it, but we can't make it out that it's him doing it. The challenge flag <laughs> out there, they couldn't, they couldn't overcall him. <laughs> exactly. That's like we done doing like, like, that, that's, that's crazy, man. That is crazy. Old dude is wearing that outfit that the camera is showing him wear. But he gets off because of the technicality of the face look like Matt's pain and uh, <laughs> right. and, right. and, and, and PlayStation Two era. 
Man, dude, man, that's crazy, dog. Like that's a, that's that is the chance somebody had took the whip, and I'm like, like we couldn't see nothing from the camera next door. They had a camera, dude. Like we couldn't see that like, it was. They had to keep flipping and flipping and kind of trying to zoom in and all that. But it's like, why is it not that clear? You know what I'm saying? That is a hundred percent. Like the rings is all right, but. You know what I mean? You walk up on the doorstep and then boom, of course I can see you clear here. You know what I'm saying? But from a distance, it's the same. Yeah. You know it, I mean? it, it, that's wild. And I and I think it's done like that purposely. So we can keep people. Um, well, mainly I, I first of all, I think life. Well, I'm not gonna say I think life. I've I've thought about life being orchestrated by the government. Yeah. Yeah, so since life is being orchestrated by these cats, by these niggas who call themselves the government, if they have high definition security cameras, then they will not probably be the government for too much longer because they wouldn't be able to get away with stuff. They wouldn't be able to get away. The government themselves wouldn't be able to get away with stuff if cameras were high tech. But mm-hmm. even more so, since I am have this thought about life itself is being orchestrated by the government, the right. fact that we have these, these, these BS cameras, it keeps the justice system afloat. Right. Uh, the to me, I think the justice system is the is a game. It's like these k- niggas is literally they playing with life, not people lives, but life itself. And people lives are just part of it. And I feel like the the government is like the the biggest gangster for real. <laughs> you, you ask me. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, I mean, just paying taxes is a robbery to me. Shit, I mean. I work hard as hell for all this week to make all this money, and y'all take it for what? Social Security, I got to hope and make it to be old enough to see security. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot, man. So many different things I feel like they take from us that they should give us. You know what I'm saying? We make Absolutely. money. They make, don't, we, don't we make money, ain't it? They print money out. That's like the biggest question I always had in my, in my life. Like, they say the government is broke. How? We, we, pip, we print paper. Like, who, who? They just tell people to stop printing it or something? Exactly. Like, they they not only print the paper, but they will leave it to us to believe that they can only print, they can't print paper when they feel like it. They can't print money when they feel like it because that would be against the law. That will be breaking their own code per se. But yet here we are, even though we're in debt to other countries, here we are giving countries money to money, fight money. To, to 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 play their own game over there. It ain't had nothing to do with us. And, got, and you know, it's hilarious to me that speaking of that sidebar from that right quick, since these niggas is printing up money that we don't get to other countries so they can play their own justice game. I don't uh, understand. Here we are. Gir- you didn't gave me the um dang gone weed and now I can't remember where I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> no. <Nah. laughs> here we are. These niggas said <laughs> here here's a sanction about not participating in this war of theirs that we ain't supposed to be in. And I'm like, sanction? Oh, then I looked it up what the sanction is and then Paraphrasing the the term, basically, these niggas is a is <laughs> a sanction is basically here's a written note from my mom saying I can't do this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like a sanction. What or- the heck? you you mean to tell me that there's rules to war? That's the most retarded thing I ever heard. I never heard that either. Like, if somebody, uh, like, it's, I don't get it. War is war. Because of life is being orchestrated 
And the justice system is a game that we're a part of unwillingly. Right. And we become we become a part of that from birth. And we don't even have the choice. Our parents sign us over to these niggas. And the thing about that is they got signed over to our parents and our grandparents and for them back since the government been in existence. We've been signing our lives over to these niggas. We can't even be a citizen. We can't even walk out the freaking hospital without signing our life over in our in or our kids if we're giving birth to these niggas or else they gonna take our kid anyway i'm perplexed <laughs> <laughs> yeah so if, if you don't if you just only way you can get out of there without signing your your signing them papers saying stating that another life has been brought into the plane of what we call reality right if you don't sign those papers, you're not getting out of there. Well, you may, but this kid of yours most likely not going to get yeah, out of they, there. Because you need to put a number on that kid. That's what it's uh, Exactly. Uh, yeah, this number has to be linked to you because you're the parent. But since you, they just say, they just say, I've become aware of the government and all their shenanigans and I right. choose not to do this. There's a possibility that I'm going to jail for harboring a person right. that that's that that's not supposed to be here. That's actually mine. <laughs> that's crazy. Can you give me that book bag on the side of the house and in, in the house? My bad brother. You got me over here Hello? ready to twist up too. Every since you hit the blinds, I keep thinking like I need me one too. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, you good, man. Hey, picture this. Whatever talk is basically us on the porch, on a, on a figurative porch, chilling, or in the basement. That's why. That's why. That's why. I, I, I like this. I'm gonna, I got. I'm gonna wait for the next episode. I got to do another episode. It's gonna, it's gonna be crazy. Uh, uh, absolutely, man. Absolutely. Hey, so it's a book bag right there when you go to the right where my work clothes be. Just hand me the whole book bag. My bad, brother. You gotta stop apologizing, especially as black people. We have absolutely zero to be sorry for. Right, 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 right. <laughs> like, yeah. it, yeah. I just be making, I just be making fun of that. I just be thinking about uh, conversation itself. Like I think we all, as humans, need to practice conversing with each other. Like we don't know how to talk to each other. People talk to their friends, but just a regular stranger. How does it communicate? A exactly, exactly. Like if we're it, it, even with some of our friends. If we uh, if we would, if we're not arguing, they don't think that's a conversation. Like the conversation has to consist of arguing and or debate, even though all three of them have different definitions. Facts. They all do have <laughs> an argument and a conversation is three different things for sure. Exactly. And I'm that's not about I'm I'm only about conversation. I don't want to debate nothing because my beliefs is just as flawed as everybody else's beliefs on the planet. Mm -hmm. That's how I go. Part of that learning how to uh, talk to one another is saying words that come common to us because we either heard it, <laughs> either we heard it or said it our, ourselves all the time growing up. That is true. Because some stuff feel like stick with you a little bit and it's kind of uh, it becomes a habit you know it's just part of uh, one of y'all funny moments y'all kind of keep it alive because that's something that's bringing back a good memory and some stuff just be a habit you like mm -hmm, I've been mm -hmm. so long like can't help it exactly like, exactly like like sorry the word sorry for one like yeah it's like you feel like, yeah it just comes out like like a uh, um, as just like a um, what's a muscle memory thing yeah. Muscle memory, that's the right key for it, muscle memory, bro, because mm -hmm. your brain reflects back to what it knows the most or used to saying for so long, and it's mm -hmm. that, you know what I mean? And, and then have a conversation with what I call a societal person, lamest terms, a programmed person, basically, who, who we be talking about on right. a common basis on the, uh, on the show, society, and yeah. talk to one of them if you pay attention, like listen to conversation, like 
the ones that you be in and the over you might overhear it or it, it, it even it even um, pops up in our in our entertainment is that people it seems like people uh, it seems like conversation doesn't progress it, it seems like people just comment on the topic at hand like a, a random roller dance that comes in the head like a video game and you select what you want to say to the person right 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 so like i say we're talking about something and they were kind if you listen to what they reply with it's like you own it, it seems like they reply with something just to keep the conversation afloat not necessarily anything that about something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand that too. So conversation never gets prog uh, progress. It's like we're in the same thing and everybody has the same perspectives. Uh, people, and, it's, more, it's more so like you start off saying when you open the show up, you know, most people be scared to talk about it. What really came across their mind. Mm-hmm. Agree just to keep the conversation going, but you probably don't even agree with me, real. And there's nothing wrong with not agreeing or having your own opinion or outlook on life. We're not meant for a million people in the world to all think alike. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Light minded doesn't necessarily mean we agree. Hundred percent. Each other. I mean, what would life be if everybody thought the same? <laughs> As exactly. we all be rolling blunts. All be rapping, will we all be singing because we all want to be like you know what I mean? Will we all be drivers? Will we all be poets? You know what I mean? We'll all be one stereotype. Yep. Like <laughs> it'll be life. yep, it'll just be one stereotype and we will all be it. Yeah, I, I was thinking about this today. Oh well, we we brushed off the whole security camera thing, the security just I'm, I might bring oh, you yeah. back because it is some more I want to talk about. But yeah, uh, whatever we'll, we'll talk, man. You know how you just jump subject to subject, man. I, I like, I like how this <laughs> like check this out. I know you've seen my post when I be looking for a guest to come on to talk to, I'm looking for, yeah. for people to have probably uncomfortable conversations. All right, so <laughs> it's, it'd be so funny because I, I talked about this like, a couple uh, recordings ago how people are so uncomfortable with the word uncomfortable that it literally the the word uncomfortable triggers so much imagination in people they start arguing and debating with themselves in a conversation that they don't even know about it, it is like a trigger you know <laughs> Because the people don't like when the people be truth hear the truth either, because the person be like, damn, you probably picked the person who was uncomfortable and they just didn't admit it, you know? And it's like a trigger for them. It's like, damn, how did he know that? No, I ain't uncomfortable. What make you say that? Like, calm down. How you're, how you're talking right now? <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, calm down. Like, why are you so, like, I didn't mean it like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. So what, the the yeah. My bad, man. Go. You, you, you oh, no, say you what? Know, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's just like you can just trigger some people. I learned that a lot of people in the world and a lot of different people have different triggers, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, so many people went through different things in life. You know what I mean? You can say the one thing, and it's just like you never knew they went through this in life where that one word, like, I say crazy a lot. Like, I could say you crazy as hell, bro. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you don't think you're crazy. It's like my sarcastic way of saying you funny. Or you mm -hmm. might be that, that probably was a crazy moment. Like, crazy can mean so many things, you know what I'm saying? But if I say you crazy, you think I'm saying, like, you psycho for real. I'm going to get mad. Like, no, I didn't mean it like that, you know? But some people, like, it has happened to me. It, it, it happens often because people people reply to an imply. Mm -hmm. And the imply is your imagination. Exactly. What, why would you think I meant it in the way that you're taking it if you know that I'm not this type of person? That's exactly it. And that's what I be saying. Like, <laughs> people that, you know what? That's, that's real key in my life because that's something that I say. Because <laughs> I, I, you know what I'm saying? Even if I talk to my lady, you know what I'm saying? I would say mm -hmm. something. 
she if she get offense to it, it's like, well, you know me, babe. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I ain't I ain't gonna say nothing like that to you, meaning like that. You know, some people don't understand that. You know what I'm saying? But it's like a lot of people like it's 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 it's, it's, it's a lot of ways to explain that, dog. Like that's crazy. You say that. You know what I'm saying? Well, one of one of the things that I think about about that is that um uh, uh I got a whole heap of theories, man, that I love talking about. <laughs> what? Yeah. And the primary one is people act out life, meaning that they put they put on a persona instead of being themselves. That's that's one of my pet peeves too, man. I, I do not like that because I don't force relationships. I don't force friendships. I'm mm -hmm. me. What you yeah. say is what you get. And this type of person I am, I'm not gonna get into nothing I don't normally get into to hang with you or be your friend. You know what I mean? It's <laughs> Exactly, like people doing a whole bunch of retardation just to see if they like it, like just to see if they like it. Like, nigga, you know what you do and don't like. Another one of my uh, theories is the you don't know me factor. Part of that you don't know me factor is deflection. Like we take offense to things in conversation, especially, especially from strangers i don't know why but even more especially from people who we supposedly know yeah if this person supposedly know me or i know this person you're deflecting from something about yeah. yourself so you let me know that you have an inner feeling that i never we never talked about for me to know i couldn't say that to you you know what i mean I knew that I wouldn't say that but i thought you knew me better enough to know that i wouldn't mean it like this or like that Mm -hmm. Exactly, exactly. Choice is a great factor in, the, in all of this um, thing. Uh, emotion control, for one, you gotta have emotion control. You gotta be able to gain your triggers, per se. <laughs> it's like, because right, right. for whether I know you or don't know you, I'm not con in control of your triggers. Exactly. Basically, I'm not about to tiptoe around said anyone. But yeah. also at the same time, I like I, I practice this on a often basis is when I choose to converse with anybody, I'm trusting that this person is not saying anything to intentionally hurt me. Right. That's the difference. Somebody that like it's easier for somebody who don't know me to say whatever. That's when the kind of I understand that you don't know me factor. I don't let it bother me. Like, you have to know me to really say something to bother me because mm -hmm, I, I, mm -hmm. if you know me and I consider you somebody that know me, I confide in you. I just say just confide in you. I just, I've been around you. You should know to me. You know what I mean? And, and exactly. respect for what I like and don't like. You know what I mean? And, and that's what, exactly. And that's what I mean about the whole I'm not in control of your triggers and I'm not about to tiptoe around anyone. But that being said, if I do know you yeah. and I choose to yeah. care about you, basically give you purpose to me in my life, right? I'm taking the consideration in, in consideration of your triggers. You know what right. I'm saying? I know it is to say that because that might be a trigger or it, it might deter the mood or whatever we're doing. Uh, exactly. Watching an NBA game and I said the wrong word. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I was arguing with Exactly. But again, I'm not saying if I do trigger you, you I feel like you should trust the other person that they're not intentionally they're trying to hurt trying you. to hurt you because oh, it's a oh, conversation, oh, right? We're supposed yeah. to be just talking. We're supposed to be conversing. Yeah, not cool enough to have a conversation and you don't take exactly. offense to what I'm saying because I didn't exactly. have exactly. <laughs> Exactly, exactly. So, so I'll take in consideration. Do, oh my bad, I'm sorry. I no, no, go ahead. I, I'm again. The, no, the, no. I'm, the end of the, the the um the interruptions of the uh service, the Wi-Fi, is it, it, messing me up. So I ain't purposely trying uh, to cut you off. So continue, please, Mister Bit Steve. Right, right, right. This boy, I, I don't know why I keep messing up though. Man, I, hey, the internet. We're gonna keep but it going. Also, we're, gonna, we're gonna run it back anyway. But but also I could be getting uh bud because 
I do be talking about the government in America all the time. <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. So, yeah, <laughs> so if if my whole my whole show is about understanding, I, I just like to talk about my thoughts. And basically, I would love to have the whole world change to a uh, uh, a civilization that thinks. <laughs> right. The, the things. So basically, if the government realized that I'm giving people courage to start thinking, it's going to be hard to orchestrate life. Right, right, right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um. So they try to interrupt the service between us. <laughs> right, 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 right. So I stop. <laughs> <laughs> but but yeah, look, check this out. It's just funny, man. It's this person that's supposed to have come on a, on the show some weeks ago, but she keep going back and forth with coming on because of she's extremely fixated on the word uncomfortable. Like I think people think that I'm trying to be malicious. How? Oh. Because how how I reach out for guests to come on the show looking for people to have probably uncomfortable conversation if you're asking what we're talking about you're already uncomfortable basically by, don't even bother coming on the show if you know that you have triggers <laughs> I ain't got time to be dealing with them and I don't feel like dealing with them <laughs> like I'm a completely unbothered person man. you know like we were saying triggers like what well, would trigger me is somebody just like trying to downplay me as a man and a father. You know, that would be something that they could trigger me. Like, you know, because I'd have been like let down by people. And then it's like, like just like, mm -hmm. and you got people all through the stuff in your life of friends and people and all type of stuff that you come numb certain stuff to where only the real life stuff can bother you. And people will like inner line stuff that they haven't got over get real uncomfortable. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like some people uh -huh. need to just try to get over what it is that's making them feel like that because that's the issue that they have to realize holding them back in life that could probably be on their mind at night. They don't even realize it, but they really just been uncomfortable their whole life. You know what I mean? <laughs> and they yeah, always about something specifically that they haven't really got over yet. You know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. First of all, I think don't even bother engaging in conversation, period. If you don't have emotion control, <laughs> right, right, right. Like if you if you if you get triggered off all your triggers all the time, then yeah. you got issues. Like you shouldn't yeah. be getting triggered off the same triggers all the time. Yeah, like, that's what I feel like it's an underlying person needs to go work on. Like you need to go work on that because you have to be able to have a conversation with no one if you just easily trigger. You know what I'm saying? Even in your daily job or anything, like, your trigger cannot yeah. affect you when it comes to making your money or anything. Some stuff you have to be the bigger person and just be like, okay, you know, just, or at least try to understand the person that said it to see that they wasn't trying to be malicious like you saying. Because I don't get from coming on the show at all. I come on here just to whatever talk. We, we talk about whatever comes to mind and our opinions. Might not be the same, but then uh, make you you ask the question the way you want. You ain't tell me what to say. You know what I'm saying? So absolutely, you know, absolutely. It's a lot of ways, man. That people could think besides malicious, you know. But yes, uh, but I think it comes with the uh, the the whole thing of most people believe that if you're not debating or arguing, that you're not having a conversation, that you're not conversing. That's locked in society's mind, but right. also, I, I'm thinking about it some more. What comes with what I just said? It's hard to recognize genuine. It is now. That's another good thing. Like that be on my mind too. And I, you know what? That's crazy that you say that because I speak on that like on a daily basis, especially with me now in the, in the mindset I'm in right now and the hard work I'm mm -hmm. putting in now, and all the sacrifices I've made for people and stuff. People don't even know, like, I didn't do did stuff when I couldn't do it. I was fixing something on myself, but the way I uphold myself, you don't even know if I need help or not. You mm -hmm. don't know when I was going through nothing in life to myself. So, 
you be around these people, you do all this stuff, but I'm not having a gene or heart. Usually be the ones who take from you. I feel like most genuine people want to see us both succeed. If I get something from you, I want to give it back. I want to be there for you. I just want to listen. It doesn't always consist of money or anything. Genuine people just generally do stuff because they got good hearts. Mm -hmm. I want to see you. This lady crossing the street, I just want to help because that's the right thing to do. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Or just it's like genuine is real big to me, though. I can go on and on. So many things come to my head. Like, yeah, it's hard to find like you are. A G one person, like literally, like I know this, you know what I'm saying? But girls, oh, you know, that's intentionally too. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> but like, <laughs> how are you in your yo? I know you so G, I could be 100% just comfortable around you with my guard up. Genuine people, you do not have to have a guard up because you know their hearts are pure, man. You know what I'm saying? Bad people can be. They say they genuine, but you're not genuine if you're just doing shit to people to harm people. You don't care. You just like. Genuine people are just giving, dog. Like they, they, they give more than they care about receiving. I feel like you know what I mean. Absolutely. Genuine people are the people that just constantly want to put out good energy to the universe. You know what I mean. I call myself genuine. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I, I stick, I strictly put out good energy because I only want good energy to come around me. You know what I mean? I'm a straight up front. Blunt, helping, giving, loving person, bro. And when I say what I say, I mean it. And if I do tell you something you don't like, because I, I want you to, to hear it from me and then be somebody judging you, and I really care about mm -hmm. you. You know what I'm saying? Let me tell you the truth. I'm not going to say, oh, you was right, you was wrong. You was wrong. Uh -huh. you was wrong. Absolutely. <laughs> you know what I'm like, I'm, I ain't about to turn you in, but nigga, you're wrong. <laughs> wrong. You know what I'm saying? I, I, like, I love you. Like, Gene, when people was just like, it's a different type of aura they bring around in the room. Man. You get a whole like I got a group of people running around now and everybody's just genuine. Like I ain't hung out this much and, and drunk this much liquor in my life, and it's never been a drama. My whole life. And I mean it's like five, six years straight now. It's just straight partying when we do party. Like we all got careers and we have fun, you know? Mm -hmm. But when we drink and it's so genuine, like I'm so like like we go out, man, and it's Oh, it's winter time for you. It's slow. I'm not going out. You going out. And, and I'm just out there and you got a round coming. And then this person buying around. And nobody's ever asking nobody this. Nobody asking nobody that. You come over to their house, you in the refrigerator, they come over to yours. It's just genuine, just like it's a full circle, man. Nobody you never got a question. And that person never questioning you. You know what I mean? Like, you know I ain't do this because of that. If I did something. It had to be a mistake. This nigga, this person, he's not like this. He's not like that. You know what I'm saying? I know absolutely. this person. Absolutely. 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 Like, I can literally call your mom out your name in your face, and you know I'm just joking. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, like you know right. I ain't about to call moms out yeah. of name. He, <laughs> he know you enough to know, like, boy, you so funny. You know what I'm saying? She know, exactly. like. Exactly. I'm like, like, wait a minute. Yeah, it's, man, like, like, it's like I got one cousin right now. I ain't gonna lie. I call the motherfucker right now. What up, cuz? What up, you fat bitch? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, straight like that. Like, fuck you. You know what I'm saying? But we just, I know you trying to sell some crazy shit. You it's know what I'm like, saying? Like, like got a gym in my heart, but we might hear us talk crazy to each other. But motherfuckers is just genuine. You know them. You don't have to get under, you don't have to misunderstand nothing. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to say laugh to them, mad about the same joke tomorrow, then the next day I'm mad about it. You know what I'm saying? Like, exactly, exactly. We all have... <laughs> we all Crazy have... ways of doing our gene or not. What's the word? Generosity? Is that a word? Yeah, it's a word, but... Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Yeah, but we, we, we are... We are growing. And I'll even say we're all growing at the same time. But the difference is that we're all not growing in the same emotional field at the same time. Yeah, different people, different people handle it completely differently, for sure. Exactly, exactly. So we're in, we're forced to deal with each other because we're walking the same earth. But if you don't know the person, it, it is hard to yeah spot genuine. Yeah, yeah. Like even if yeah, even if this person right. is like extra dope. This this person is probably one of the coolest people you have met your whole entire life. But in the moment of this scheduled recording here, that's what I am. 
just the cool cat you just happened to meet. Right. I could be a freaking Manson. Yeah. So it's hard. So it's, again, so I do. You don't know, man. Get, you don't know. That's 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 the, that's the scary part. That's where everybody be like. That comes back to like you say, conversation, bro. It's all elite conversation because yes. I feel like you talk to somebody, you get to know them and their expects of life and the way they think, and you can find out what they've been through and what's this and what's that. You probably can even find like, oh, that might be a trigger. I might not say this to this person now that they didn't say that to me. You know what I mean? So it all mm-hmm, goes to conversation. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But if you can't have a conversation, then you you know. That that puts you in a whole another field of a way of thinking, you know what I mean? Yeah, you're gonna be a miserable person. So it's hard. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're gonna be a miserable person. If you can't. Man. You're right. It, it kind of uh, it all boils down to conversation, which is I understand being uncomfortable with whatever talk. I totally get it, but all right. Uh, I, like I said, like I mentioned a couple times that I do that on purpose. Like I put that that post out looking for people to have probably an uncomfortable conversation on purpose. It helps with the things that I talk about, which is basically making fun of reality. And the people like, again, I people be asking questions. Like again, that automatically puts you in a, a theory of mind. That, that the fact that you had the thought mm-hmm. process to even ask a question, even though the second sentence, it's only two sentences, and the second sentence say, if you're asking what we're talking about, you're already uncomfortable. Right. The fact that you ask a question already right. puts you in what we call a stereotype. So what so why why would you say that? Why? So what did you mean by that? That's what I'm saying. Like somebody would do that to you. Like so, what did you mean by that? And it's like you might hit a trigger. That hit a trigger was like oh, I almost hit a trigger. What? Right? Well, you know what? I don't. I don't think about that because I'm all about questions. Like, true. I love them. I, I think everything should be a question. <laughs> you know, like question every single thing. My dad so always asks if you need to know something. Ask. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, yeah, man. It, it was, stop being dumb. Act dumb, but stop being dumb for real. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, now that's, that, now that, that's gonna go over a lot of people here. You know, I, what I'm I know, I know. <laughs> I don't, I don't ask, I don't answer any questions. I just tell them come on the show, and I get your, uh, I give you your answer to that. If you don't mind coming on the show, I just select who I want to select. Right, 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 right. But those, the fact that you automatically get put in the stereotype, that's me. Assuming that's an assumption, mm-hmm. assumption is, is for sure the uh, same thing as a stereotype. Because, um, uh, to put me mm-hmm. in a stereotype, you have to assume I'm this type of person before you got to know me, you know what I mean? So, that's for sure. That absolutely, absolutely, you know, absolutely. A lot of people, <laughs> it's like I know I come off probably as a super hood and this and that, but I'm super cool, you know. I probably look like I'm mean or mad, but. I'm the most genuine. I'm gonna open the door and let you go in first. How you doing when you walk past me? How you doing? If you look me in my face, how you doing today? You know what I'm saying? I don't even know I come off a little nice, but I might be stereotyped as a uh, as a hood dude. You know what I'm saying? But mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and I do the same thing for a guy. Hold the door. Oh, here you mm-hmm. go, bro. <laughs> but you just automatically assume like, oh, he this, he that. Like, you don't know my background. Even though I was raised in the hood, that don't mean you know that. I could have been raised in the birds. You don't know. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. You exactly. Have a conversation to know where I am from. You know what I'm saying? And I don't know if I'm just to with anybody. And you know what I'm saying? Yep, yep, yep. And even if I was in the hood and raised in the hood, that don't mean I have to act like yeah. the stereotype did. of hood. <laughs> well, we digress and digress. Yeah, you got to. That's part of like growing, dog. You, can, you know when to cut it on and cut it off. You know what I'm saying? I'm, absolutely. You know, absolutely. You know, you go to the hood and you, you be with your dogs. You know what I'm saying? We kicking it. You feel know I me? Mean? I, can, I can talk my hood shit. You know what I'm saying? But when it's time for me to provide and what I got to do to step in a certain room, I got to do what I got to do and show them I know what I'm doing. You know what I mean? You know, it's time to be hood in here talking crazy right now. You know, it's just time to uh, handle some business and do what I got to do. Absolutely, like I like I state 
often. Like you didn't got to be on ten all the freaking time. Well, yeah, and that's exactly that's, what I'm that's, that's, retarded. <laughs> that's retarded. That's oh, retarded. Yeah, Sit down yeah. somewhere. Yeah, like, <laughs> you're older, you know what I'm saying. So especially a black man, you know. Mm-hmm. Going back to the question, that's me assuming. Just like how for you to take offense. Or for you to even get uncomfortable, my friend, I ain't even gonna say take offense. For you to even get uncomfortable because you read the word uncomfortable, that's you assuming. But here's the the thing about the whole assumption thing. Even though I'm assuming, which is basically a step in the direction of judging, as we would say in society. But it's also going in the step of making a decision about something. So we judge all the freaking time throughout the day. Right. <laughs> that being right. said, mainly just about everybody. Matter of fact, I'm just going to say it. Everybody I had as a guest, I had my assumptions about them cats. The thing was, I didn't speak on any of my assumptions on these people. I just talked. To them, yeah, everybody is gonna have an assumption. That's just part of life. Absolutely. Speak on it. It's a time to keep it to yourself. Some people just speak on it and be like, "It's not the time." <laughs> yeah, you know? but I don't. Like, I, I don't really see, see a reason. Oh, type of person. <laughs> yeah. My my bad. I, again, I keep forgetting about the uh, the the, the signal, oh, you man. Good. Oh, you good. You good. All right. You good. You good. Yeah, all right. I feel like there's no reason for me to bring up any of my assumptions. What's the point? Like uh, like you said, we judge or like I say on all, all the time, we judge every single person all the freaking time. Again, it's called making a decision. We have to decide through our stuff throughout the day. So again, I'm judging. You. If, I, if I don't do that, you know. If exactly. I and get a type of aura or how you look and present yourself, it's going to make you decide. Like, as an assumption, no, nah, I can't fuck with this cat. Yeah, uh, like, you assume whatever. And that person probably was about to try to get down on it. They probably really was about to. You might just be that's that's me. Yeah. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> you go through so much stuff in life, you know what I mean? You, you about to do business with somebody and you just was like, ah. I don't know about that. It sounds too good to be true. And that that car really was that cheap for that price. They just needed the money for real. And they was ready to get whatever mm -hmm. they could for. And it wouldn't no get down. You know? Yep, yep. I think a lot, you know, and it's like that's that's all go boil down back to uh making a decision, like you said, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's so all yeah. walking in the thing if we don't, you know. Absolutely, absolutely. So again, for you to be uncomfortable about the word uncomfortable, that means the second question. <laughs> Don't bother coming on the show if you got a question and or are already uncomfortable. Go and work on yourself and come back later and we can probably have this imaginary conversation that you already had in your head to why you didn't come the first time. <laughs> yeah. At the end of the day, you don't even know what the conversation is going to be because it's whatever talk. You know, like, that's dope that you just, it's like, you come on here, bro, you just talk, you know what I'm saying? And you just get a perspective of each other, and, and, it, and it, it's not an interview, it's really, it's a conversation. This ain't scripted. It's not scripted. So the world, this is, this is not scripted. Exactly, like, man. I, right? I, don't, I don't care about what you got going on in your life. I mean, and, and I say it like that, and I know how that sounds when I say it like that, but again... I don't mean it like that to that degree. That means that, like I told you, man, I'm not about to interview you about your, uh, your, your rap career with all, all right. that. You know, that's dope as hell that you got doing that. But I'm interested in your thoughts about right. stuff. I have this new thought in my head. My other brother, we were talking about uh, facts, right? And he was like, that's a fact. That's a fact. And I was like, yeah, okay, yeah, it's a fact. And it probably is a for real fact. But we like to go off this 9 out of 10 scale. That being said, that fact is the fact 
for now. You know, it's is that's that's what science that's what science is all about. It's the study on why. And the fact is on the tenth time this happens. So that's right. what I'm interested in. This other thought of the opinion is the study on the fact. Meaning that we we all got opinions here. Every single one of us on the planet have an opinion about something. Whether even if we don't know what it is about something, if you think about it a little bit, you could come up with some assumptions about said thing that you don't know anything about. It's just thinking a little bit, right? Come on, now we get we got some sense. Think about it. So that being said, since we all have an opinion, then what if what if all of our opinions is the study on the actual fact, meaning that we can probably, if we have these conversations and stop thinking that a conversation is malicious, like conversation itself is it's not, not malicious. And some people just be having like they own bad or that they carry with them that they don't know they carry and they walk in and stuff that can be good and turn it bad on their own, you know? So sometimes a person come in with a negative thought of this about to be bad when it was just a regular conversation. Well, yes. that what we talked about today it was just a simple, you say this and, and I give my opinion on it. You know, we talk about our aspects of life, basically. You know what I'm saying? What we probably could have done is with me asking my questions, you asking your questions, we yeah. saying each other's opinions, we probably can come up with a answer for that 10th time if we are conversing with one another versus arguing or debating and thinking that's a conversation or yeah, you know you thinking said. that's a conversation we can pro we can probably figure out why it only happens nine out of ten times. We could probably figure out this random factor. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, because like no matter what you say, you know what I'm saying? Like I, I have no reason to be mad about your opinion and your and your aspect of life. And we went to two different paths. So for you to say what you say is why you all look on something. There's nothing wrong to talk about that and then turn into a debate. Or screaming match again, anger or misunderstood, or a person not feeling to, to start feeling uncomfortable. You know what I mean? Like, I'm mm -hmm. not judging. You're just talking. And how you feel is not going to make me look at you different. It had to be some real off the wall, like, all right, that's different. Like, come on. Right, <laughs> but to have your own regular opinion on something, like, I'm not about to get mad at you for feeling like that. You know what I mean? It's my choice to be around or not, not just keep being around you uncomfortable or being upset. You know what I mean? But to that, I read it. Exactly. It stopped a lot of stuff. If people knew how to just talk and understand and not move off emotion. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Stop implying to this imply that you're imagining. <laughs> like, just listen to what's being said and stop fixating on how it's being said. It's still the message. It's yeah. like, you know, we 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 fit say no, on one. How that, you say it sometimes, you know. I, I mean, I I do get the whole. I get. I kind of get that saying. It's not how you say it. I mean, it's not what you say. It's how you say it. I I I think I may get that, but I don't agree with that. Like. Mm -hmm. This is why I don't agree with that. I, I, I do agree with it to this extent. It's because so many people don't have emotion control, meaning that they can't actually have a conversation, meaning right. what we're doing right now. So if you don't have emotion control, and that automatically says you can't have a conversation, but that's also mean that no matter how something is actually being said, you're going to take it in the emotion that you're in right. versus having emotion control and just hearing it, the message, just hearing the message. It's kind of like, kind of like how we sound rap. It's kind of like how when we say about rap, we'll listen to the song. Right. We'll listen to the R and B, the R and B singer that that's saying this, 
But we have the rapper say the uh, same this the exact same song, and we'd be like, "Oh, wait a minute, I don't like what he's saying." But I'm like, he, "This person is saying the exact same song as the R and B person, but you're going to take away all your comprehend comprehension skills and all that just because how it's being said versus being grown." And mature enough to listen to what's being said, right? I still hear what you're saying when you say that too. Yeah, so that's why I don't quite agree with that. That saying is not what you say; it's how you say it. Because to me, it sounds like you're intentionally being retarded right now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's like you're not you're not, you're not trying to take the time out to listen. And here was being said, you're just weren't fixated so much on how said something's being said. Yeah, I understand the whole damn bro, do you have to be this loud? Just because I'm rapping something instead of giving a speech about the same rap lyrics that you're just hearing doesn't mean that it's not a message in it. That's true. It's still gonna be a really. I just said it different. Exactly. Exactly. I think some uh, people like um <laughs> like the biggest thing like comes with a conversation is comprehension. You know what I'm saying? Who worked into that thing? And that's what people oh, like. hold, hold on, pause, 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 pause one sec. Pause one sec. Wife has something to say about what I just said. I see, you already know that I don't agree with that. Everything is it's not all in what how you say it, but how you say things do play a part in your delivery and how you want to deliver so called message. So the way that you want me to receive the message is the same way you should deliver it. You hear that? That's what I was just about to say exactly. So you want me to say the way um <laughs> absolutely she said and she and she closed it so if you don't if you want me to calmly receive the message, don't yell at me. That's that's exactly what I was about to say. Cause um uh, I can't I can't I can say something to you like stop that and yell. Or I could be like, no, stop that stuff, that stuff. I could calm you down or I can make you more nervous. Absolutely. That's what yeah, I said. Yeah. I totally agree with that. And I absolutely I understand. I just say two words, but the way I say it is on how I deliver it. So that's why I say how you say it. Because you could be so upset in the argument. But if you was it face to face and we arguing and we calmly arguing, it won't lead to shooting or fighting like people do. People could just talk and conversate. They deliver them angry Absolutely. words like, Absolutely. nigga, you pissed me off. Bro, you did this. Well, bro, you did that. It ain't no screaming, screaming to where niggas feel like we about to throw blows. It could be just a conversation. We both say we got to say in an angry way, but. It was more of a, a good emotional talk, and we said we had to say as boys and family, you know what I'm saying? Your lady, friend, whatever it is, you know what I'm saying? And, yep, yep, yep. That leads to a lot, you know what I'm saying? I had an argument with a, with a family member or friend before, but we calmly argue. It never led to nothing different, you know what I'm saying? You be somebody in the street, you know what I'm saying? People go to arguing and fighting and yelling because they don't know each other off bed when they could have been like, just, oh, my bad, bro, my bad, you know it's not, uh, and the delivery was so different, you know what I'm saying? It, it, it would didn't lead to that, you know what I mean? And then it's like the kind, and that's what's why I say, like conversation. You got conversation, you got to have comprehension at the same time because I could talk to you all day, but you don't comprehend nothing I'm saying. Why are we having this conversation? You're not understanding. So now you do need to go back and think about it or even take a break and I think about it and whatever and mm-hmm. uh, comprehend each other a little bit more and just go on another person. Maybe it's something I ain't give you ain't get, but you gotta have some type of comprehension of what the conversation is about or we just talking, you know what I'm saying? You gotta, you gotta have that. And that's the biggest downfall of most offensive people too. They don't comprehend what each other's saying because they so angry and they delivering it wrong. That your emotions are starting to take over the conversation because now you're not having a conversation with your brain, you're having it with your heart. And your heart's so mad and beating so fast, you're coming off wrong, and now the whole conversation is left because you delivered it so bad. When I could have just came to you calmly, and that's what you know, yep, yep. Try another aspect before they just trip. 
it's life too short. You got a lot of money to make, a lot of stuff to do. You I feel like try try first before you go to the next level. Don't just go to the next level. Try to deliver in a nice way with that whatever person you got to talk to about anything and deliver it in the way you want them to understand it and how they know how to understand it. Because whoever you with, your person ain't going to understand the same way this person. Some people think they got to yell at each other. That might just be their relationship or something. But most people, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying, might want to have a real conversation, not a screaming match. So we can just know we really do understand each other. We do want to understand each other. Because sometimes a scream and a loud tone can make feel like more of a demand than a, can you understand me too? You know what I mean? Uh, yep, I, I agree with all of that. And I agree with what with, um, um, Lakira said. That's why in the beginning, I said, Gotta have emotion control. Yeah, that, <laughs> that leads back to that too, dog. Emotion control. You can say that. You know? I feel like with emotion control, it can be a snap back to the conversation, like a snap back. Ooh, okay, all right. I heard it. My bad. Took it the wrong way. We we can get back. All right. I feel like I feel like that can happen if one yeah. took it the wrong way. I agree with all that. This this was a dope conversation, man. I stepped on it for you. I can't look straight from where I still look. I still straight. Yeah, I see, man. I see. I see. Going to I'm to make sure I kept my word. And I, we had to make it happen. Oh yeah, cool, man. I appreciate <laughs> that. I don't know. It's crazy you chose this subject because that's stuff that I think about. So. Big up to whatever talk, dog, because um, genuine, right? Just genuine. Some being genuine with something I talk about. Um, understanding, conversation comprehension you know what i mean that was all something i talk about you know what i mean so this is like uh crazy that you picked this kind of conversation today <laughs> hey right you want to know what's even more crazy i didn't pick it man i just be talking about with her how they how i go how yeah, every conversation go <laughs> you did just straight hop on here and call i'm sorry i got on uh, you said no, we talking, we got the show going, and this whole conversation just started out of nowhere completely. So, uh, yeah, more people need to just go ahead and come on this joint and just uh, conversate. Yeah. Ain't nothing wrong with uh, just conversating. Yeah, you say personal business. We don't want to know your social security number. We ain't ask where you stay, your address, none of that. Mm -mm, mm -mm. <laughs> talking about comprehension and stuff you learned at elementary. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just I'm just making fun of everybody on the yeah. planet. <laughs> making fun of reality. <laughs> oh, we can turn to a, a conversation and it turned to a whole comedy show. You don't know. Exactly. Comedy, you know, it, might, it might be jokes galore. You know what I'm saying? Like a comedy show within the conversation. Oh, I'm about to spend my twenty dollars a year. <laughs> I probably would have had to spend another twenty dollars to get there. Right, <laughs> about to have a party with everybody that was at the venue, just at a different location. <laughs> <laughs> Little did he know that these days about to be packing up for his stuff in his car to go. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh man, you're rapping, man. Like when you start doing this, man. I could go on YouTube and see that joint too. Our first little crazy YouTube joint. <laughs> I was young too, dog. That's probably like 16, 15, dog. And I was rapping with some dudes, dog. We called ourselves Money Gang, you know. So we get older, we got to start making choices and stuff to make sure we live and have our career and stuff. But you know, everybody doing their stuff, but I still always had my own little time. And this person got their time, their time. So when I got a chance to jump in the booth, I still drop a track here and there, you know what I mean? But I kept doing it to the point where. Shit, songs start getting better and better, and I start finding my stuff. It's stuff you go through in life too, and mm -hmm. finding your rap voice. You know what I'm saying? That's what I call it. Your yeah. rap uh huh. I found my tone, my my style, my beat, my flow, my swag, my laid back self. I am because you know I'm always been laid back and cool. Mm -hmm. You have to find you have to find your be real. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Cypress Hill, Cypress Hill, be real. He, he had to, I had to find my name. Man. That's you not know? his real voice. That's his rap voice. Yeah, <laughs> and then like the type of music I like, man. You know what I'm saying? I like to make something everybody can relate to. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. everybody have been through something. Everybody could talk, you know, go through something. I mix a little bit of this generation in it, but for the most part, you know what I mean? It's just. I want everybody to vibe to everything, you know what I mean? So I try to make something for everybody, you know what I'm saying? Something for the ladies, something for the parties, 
some for the car, some for the streets, whatever. You know what I'm saying? I just want to make good music and and, and write lyrics. That's like a peace of mind. Just do eat a pen and pad. Yeah, that ain't that ain't me. I ain't trying to make it for everybody. Everybody need to hear what I'm saying, but I ain't making it for everybody. Oh <laughs> uh, no, I feel you. I feel you. I well, I make my well. I say at least my 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 party music. my party music. My party music. I, that's that's for sure. Like I want like that to come on and everybody get ready. Like this mm-hmm. new mm-hmm. money. This song money. Like that's for the world. That's for the whole world. Like, I want the whole world to know you can dance. It's just it's like I'm getting money. Bitch, I'm getting money. When you get that check, I'm getting money. Bitch, you know what I'm saying? Money. I want everybody to know that it's enough money for everybody. You know what I'm saying? Like. Exactly. You don't got to be the government with the money. Yeah, I'm telling you, bro. Like everybody can get it. Yeah, man. But yeah, I've been doing this for a long time. Now I've been doing like shows and stuff. Now like really stepping out, you know. And people like rapping the lyrics and know the lyrics. You know what I'm saying? That's extra dope. That is extra dope right there. And like genuinely like love it. So I dropped a video to money. That's coming out in like two weeks, and that's about to be major. I ain't gonna lie, I'm super excited about this joint because I really invested a lot of time and a lot of money into this video. Because I ain't want this song is like so dope, and it, and I, the response that I get from this song made me have to do a video. Like I felt like I had no choice, or so I was just some more another chance I could have had. You know what I'm saying? Like I feel like I got shots and stuff. I got to like not procrastinate and jump on something. And this song was just something I feel like. The world needed like celebrate some money, celebrate going to work. You can get any kind of way. Celebrate you getting it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's no, I work and still hustle. I do everything. I just I'm getting some money. I'm not saying no specific way to get it. Just celebrate getting some money. You know. So this video gonna be super super dope, man. I just um uh, I have fun doing it, man. And um uh, that's all right. Backwoods and Bonfire, July 13th. I went and did the video right. Mm-hmm. Right. All day Saturday and Saturday night, I went straight to the show I had to do from the video shoot and one. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that's smooth. That's smooth. So, so, I could just, so this is about to be like really like one of my first big stages. You know what I'm saying? As far as really trying, and it's like oh, all yeah. that I put out and good energy. I'm getting back right now. And God working on me for sure because He's been keeping me safe through everything. So smooth, sure. man. That's dope. That's dope. Your video. Make sense. It go with the song game, like one of these other uh, rap videos who just be uh, was <laughs> what's TLC a scrub? A, man, man. A scrub. Oh. That video had nothing to do with scrubs. Like what the heck? <laughs> talking about like how I watch a whole video and listen to the lyrics, and I be like, so what's the message behind this? Like, <laughs> like no, 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 bro. It's a hundred percent. You, can, I'm getting money and having fun with some. You know what I'm saying? You making them Michael Jackson videos? <laughs> <laughs> he made music movies instead of videos. Yeah, 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 but, yeah. But his videos do make sense with yeah, the song. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I meant by that. Yeah, there's some people out there that just <laughs> and it makes like sense. You know what I'm saying? I even like how like Peasy song when uh when he was saying his song. You know what I'm saying? He was still Who? talking. About Peasy song. I'm not sure who that is. Oh man, <laughs> he Detroit artist dog. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm not yeah. You know he got a concept. You know it makes sense. You know what I mean? It's not gonna be dope, man, because it go with the song, dog. It go with the song for sure. That's cool, man. That's cool. That's dope, man. Get get your shout outs, man. I appreciate appreciate you coming on for the third attempt. <laughs> <laughs> I made it happen for so, man. My, I, I apologize yeah. for that, too. It was busy. All right. It's yeah. all good, man. Life, man. Like I said, you, you had a good long you're making time. it big now. So you about to get more busy. So I had to get you before you get too busy for me. No, I ain't going to be too busy. We family. I'm going to be right here next door. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't going nowhere. You're going to be able to call my phone when you're ready to. Get your shout outs and uh, you know, all that good stuff. I mean, man. Shout out to, uh, for sure, whatever talk first to more folks, you know, first <laughs> having me on here, you feel me, because he gave oh, me yeah, yeah. Uh, more interviews, you know what I'm saying, this this going to be this, the first one out here, you feel what I'm saying, so hey, 
This is exclusive Big Steve talk. You feel what I'm saying? With, uh, <laughs> Mr. Whatever talk himself. You feel yeah. me? <laughs> hey, I'm good. I appreciate it, man. I appreciate Shout it. Shout out to everybody who bang money. Money coming out. Shout out to uh, this big show coming up, man. Y'all can follow me on Instagram, 313 Steve underscore O. And I'm going to be doing more stuff to keep y'all updated with shows and music and uh, and the whole family, man. You know, to the mom side, dad side, and everybody, man, who show me love on a daily basis, man. I love y'all. Awesome, That's- awesome, man. Yeah, we thought you was going to get us out the hood, man, with football. <laughs> you know what? Well, I was supposed to, bro. You know what's crazy? It's crazy? I wish my girl just heard that, though. I swear I tell her that, like, <laughs> oh, man, man, look. And it was crazy because, you know, I feel like the coaches kind of hated on me, dog, because I had two schools trying to get me to play linebacker. Mm-hmm. So I played for uh, Enox, and we won the championship undefeated. My first time playing right, regular football. Yeah, it's on video. My mama got this on camera. The championship game, forty nine zero. Forty nine zero. The whole season was forty nine zero three. Nobody can score on us, bro. They they thought we was cheating. They said we was grounded. I had a no t. I had a little this in high school. It was thin, but I had a little something. We was and I was we was big though. You know what I'm saying? I was right uh-huh. there. So like yeah, but then um South Eastern and Mumford both wanted me to play. You know what I'm saying? So. I didn't go to Southeastern. He told the coach that I still had my championship helmet. And he was tripping. He was trying to, like, play me on time. Then, like, my 11th yeah. grade, it, it got up and down. You know what I'm saying? My mom, my, my mama had cancer. And my dad had got cancer. Mm-hmm. I, mean, I, was, well, I was, like, kind of chilling, you know what I mean? Trying to make sure I can be there for now. I didn't want to be going back and forth to practice and stuff like that. Make stuff hard. Mm-hmm. I came back to the grade. 12th grade and played, you know what I'm saying? They won uh, the end of the year, too. And I came back 12th grade and played. And that's when all the stuff really happened with the uh, coaching stuff, dog. But I, I went out there, still was playing, still was cold. I was supposed to do it, though, bro. I was supposed to do that for mm-hmm. sure. Over the kept well, going, kept trying, dog. You know what I'm saying? Well, we grow and we find other interests. And sometimes those interests, we like a whole lot more than what we done thought. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. Mm-hmm. I, I, I look at football now, though, and I still be saying it like, man, I spoke to, uh, I, I can name a lot of people, even a coach, even the head coach walked in. He saw me one day working somewhere. He's like, boy, you was supposed to make it, boy. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> well, you are making it. Oh, yeah, you I'm getting it the way I never stop. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. I'm still, still successful. I still, and I got my son too. So, you know, hey, yeah, I'm still. Yeah. But it, it's just now nah, I got the maturity to handle everything I probably would have not handled then. You feel me? Mm-hmm. The now what I would do with some money right now is like, oh yeah, I'm already uh, you know, I make great money now. You know what I mean? So it's like the maturity level of handling uh, a ton of the cash. I would be definitely trying to make it make more so I can get everybody straight for real. Because that's one thing I want to see is everybody eat. And I love to see people around me happy. So that's something that's a goal of mine, man. Like gym people around me. You feel what I'm saying? Gym oh yeah, people okay. I know. You feel me? I deserve that. Like, I want to come out here so bad because I'm like, man, I know you. The and how gym you are, I feel like I had to come on. I already gave you my word. I have to do this, <laughs> this bro. You know what I'm saying? And again, like I said, man. I, you know, I, I understand more than what those uncomfortable people think I understand. And um I want to give a shout out to all the listeners as well. Thank you guys for listening. I think you, big Steve, no longer scooter. <laughs> <laughs> now you go far. I'm quite sure. Childhood nicknames never go away. If you get one, you it for life. <laughs> hey, hey, that's, that's how I go, bro. Yeah, yeah. So you're gonna go. always be school. You gonna be you know, I, I'm gonna catch them off guard and hit them with their names just because you said this today. Now I'm gonna still go call everybody <laughs> childhood name when I call it. Yeah, <laughs> you gonna be you gonna be bit scooter Steve. <laughs> uh-huh. <All right. laughs>
Right. Right. And I also want to give a shout out to my family. We love y'all a whole bunch of kind. And to the next episode of Whatever Talk, whatever. Whatever. If you would have made it this far, but then you made it to the end of the show, you can stay posted, but we gotta go. But wait a minute. Leave a comment, tell us what you think about it. Come again, tell a friend, tell whoever listening. Whatever talk. Whatever talk.